hello everyone in this lecture we will see how view handles form so first of all we will start with simple input type text so in here I have input type text and let's render it and now if I type anything I want to handle it by view for this we have v model directive so I will use v model and I will use property name as input 1 ok and of course we have to define it here input 1 empty string now let's run it and we have this and we have empty string as a value in our input type text and as I type hello this value input 1 will be changed let me show you how so if I just render property here input 1 and if I type hello it is updating our value as I type in this input field as you can see so this is simple input type text now let's go over text area it will also have a model text area change it to text area and in here text area also and I am in text area so this is how you can also bind text areas value Okay, so this is in second line but it is not rendering as second line So this is multi line. So we have seen input type text and text area. Let's first yeah checkbox is right. So let's go over checkbox. Input type checkbox. Let me put here a generic name. So I will put value simple. And down here value and of course we need v model boom 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 so if it is checked then it will show true and if it unchecked then it will show us false so it should be false here initially but because this is generic value let me just put it false here so you don't get confused okay so at initially it gives us false and then it doubles now let's say instead I have multiple values input type checkbox also assign this to value and this will be our array now let's run it and yeah we are missing that value and it should be array now perfect so when you have multiple checkboxes this will be the case you will assign same value to v model value value and this value will be 
the value of HTML1 and this is from our property Vue.js okay so don't get confused next up let's see how radio works so input type radio value will be false Okay, so we have two radios. As you can see down here, and if I change it, it is giving us female, and on male, it is giving us male. Let's put line break here. Okay, it looks clear now. So this is how you can handle radios with UJX. Next up, let's go over select. And on select we will use V model on this one, not on that option tag. Okay. So select V model and it will be value. And I change it to array. Now option. don't want to pass value please select then one and two now let's run it So this is working. Now let's check multiple. And that's why I created that array. Yeah, working, working. This is also working. It should be this. Okay. So single select and multiple select. And one more thing, you will use V model on selected, not on option type. Hmm. And everything is finished for this lecture. And I think this was very quick lecture. And if you don't get it, then you can ask me in comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and support us so I can continue sharing whatever I have. And one more thing, it's uh, 12 a.m. So happy birthday to me and see you next everyone.